Hello everyone, I am IA Roadkill and welcome back to Humble Beginnings on No Man's Land by Alien Jim. This is episode 11. I have spent all afternoon driving back and forth bringing all of our newly acquired purchases back to the farm. Getting kind of squirrely driving, I gotta be careful. It is past 5 o'clock, but they took longer than they thought to finish up my tractor. And they're just hanging out at the shop right now. Having a cold one or something. They're not waiting for me. They're just relaxing. And they have my tractor rebuilt. with more horsepower so we can use the new mower I didn't even look in the door to see if it was done I'm sure it is they were just finishing up when I was driving by the last time that's close enough alright let's go run over here and see Yep, there it is. It is an 833. Nice. All right, let's get this home. Two things we need to do. Right away, I want to spray the wheat field, wheat, uh, field number one. I don't want to have to worry about weeds. I don't have narrow tires, so I won't be able to do anything in the field after the crops come up. So, well, after they come up and get too old, right when they're newly emerged, you can still do some stuff, but. So I want to spray field one, and then we need to cut down some more trees. I still need a windrow, which is going to cost us $9,000, and the baler is going to be $35,007-ish, or thirty-six. so a total of $45,000 we need. We have five. So that's going to end up being two full trailers because I think I was getting 20000 per trailer. And we have one tall tree left in that group over there. Somehow I missed him. And I've got three on the next one over. So I think we'll grab that. I'm pretty sure four trees will be more than what we can carry in the trailer. But we'll get the trailer loaded up tonight, and first thing in the morning, we will take it in to sell it and see where we stand. Because the grass seems to be long enough now to mow. I noticed when we were driving by, bringing all the equipment, that the cattle have been eating the grass and it's shorter inside their pen than it is out here. So you can see that it's a little bit different color, a little shorter. So yeah, our grass is ready to be mowed. But I don't want to mow it until we have a way to pick it up. Just in case the weather is bad. Let's park this next to the water. Look it up. There we go. Okay, hey, that's nice. 76 horsepower now. That means we will be able to run the lawnmower and I was 
thinking. Maybe the tether needed more horsepower. Alright, let's get everything hooked back up to this. And when I say everything, I mean the lift and... There we go. The lift and the trailer. Alright, let's... I need to hook up the crossbar. There it is. Let's get that out of the way and grab the trailer. There we go. All right, we are off. Not sure what time it's going to get dark tonight, but I want to get as much wood loaded up as I can. The lumber yard opens at 7 a.m. in the morning, so I'd like to be sitting at their doorstep when they open. Oh, field number two. I have decided that soybeans are the plant of choice. We have the header for the harvester. We don't have enough horsepower to run a cedar, I'm sorry, a planter. There, get rid of the flatbed. Yeah, so we can't run, we can't put corn or sunflowers in there this year. We'll just stick with soybeans and soybeans and wheat we planted. All right, that's one. Let's get him to fall right there between those two trees. So if I stand right here. Oh, <laughs> I missed. Oh, well. It still went between some trees. And I should probably have brought the trailer up here because I'm sure I can't move this log. We'll try, but I'm sure I can't. Oh, I'm moving it. Not very well, I'm not moving it. All right, I need to go get the... Oh, can I push it? I might be able to push it with the tractor. Yes, I can. Oh, don't hop up over top of it. Oh, here, let's lower it down. That makes it a better pusher. I get hung up on stuff, but that makes it a better better pusher. Look at there. That's actually working. Oh, oh, oh. Kinda knew that was gonna happen. But it's out of the trees. That'll make it easier to work with. Alright. We need to get the trailer hooked up so we can drive alongside and measure it out. Oh, 
our magic measure method. There's nothing magic about it. I'm going to make them a little bit shorter. I was thinking about turning it off and unhooking it, but I need to move it, so... Angle the blade a little bit here. It's almost like the bed is 10 foot long, 9 or 10 foot long, and I think we get paid most out of 8 foot logs. Alright, I don't see the cut. Oh, there it is. I need to get a measuring stick and save it. I should be able to pick this one up. Yes, I can. All right, let's make this our measuring stick. There we go. And up. Those were kind of wobbly. All right, and then the three trees I want to get are dead ahead. Racing the daylight. Where'd that stick go? There it is. Put that on top, right over here. Put a strap on it. You don't need the lights yet. Okay, now I'm not getting the trees to our right because that is the private property they said that somebody else owns out here. But I thought there was no other private property. We should probably look into buying that. Those three trees right there is what we want. So let's pull up here. And while it's daylight enough, let's get those cut down. Got one right here. It went through the trees good. Where's the second one? It looks like it right here. It has limbs way up, so that's the tall one. Get her down low to the ground. Two. And here's the third one. One plants out of the way. I gotta cut. Yay, all three of them hit the ground. All right, I'm going to clean these up, and we'll see how dark it is. All right, so we know we can push them. Let's... Let's hook this, or detach that, and let's see if we can't push these out. I might get hung up on other trees. It's pretty dense in here. Yeah, this might not work. stump. There we go. Don't hit, don't hit. Oh, we hit the tree. Are we still going? Oh, we're still going. Oh, we missed. It was a good effort. 
Oh, it was a bump right there. All right, that one's out of the trees. Let's go get another one. Get hung up on that trunk. There we go. That worked pretty good. And the last one. up if we could slide these together. Is that about the balance point? Seems to be. Oops, it's inching away. Oh. Yeah. Not the balance point of both of them. Get that third one over here. Ooh, there's the end of it right there. should push these out into the sunlight because it's going to get dark awfully fast over here in the shadows of the trees. Oh, can't push them. Three together is the limit. Let's go from this end. There we go. There we go. Get them out in the sunlight. Alright. Now let's get them all lined up together. Oop. Didn't quite get a hold of that one. They're about the same length now. Or, not the length, but the ends are at the same spot. You know what I meant. Let's see. Scoop this one straight back. Get them closer together. There we go. Let's go get the trailer and our measuring stick. Stay off. Okay. Let's get the measuring stick off of here. There we go. Cut these up. to save this measuring stick. Um, I'm going to run it over here to the road. Somewhere. Whoop. Dropped it. Right here on the corner. That way we can find it later. It's getting dark. Yep, 
Eight o'clock at night. I think we can pick up three at once. Might have to make sure the boom is in. There we go. Oops, I think we're back far enough. There we go, and now extend the boom. Without knocking the trailer over. There. Perfect. Let's get a repeat of that. That would be wonderful. There we go. Are we going to get them all to fit? I may go around the other side of the trailer for these. That way the fat ends go the other way. 8.30, it's time for us to get home and check on the animals. Okay. I think they're going to try and fall out. So, let's throw a strap up over them before we unhook. And we need one over here, I think. There we go. Let's get rid of that one. That one's not doing much. And let's undo the strap. There we go. Well, I better leave that up. All right, time to get home and check the animals. We have a trailer full for tomorrow. That is a nice load of logs. Minus one log. Or we'll call it a stick. Because it's over here by the road. Over here by the corner. Yeah, there it is. Alright, I will see you back at the farm. Well, I was going to try and turn around right there, but I think that might just be a little too tight. We will pull it up over here. And we will aim it so that it is pointing out for tomorrow morning. Right there. And let's jump into the newly horsepowered whoops there we go newly horsepowered little red oh, I was gonna fill it with water but it's already full of water I haven't looked at the chickens for a long time I'd better look at them oh, they're starting to go down I'll have to look into giving them some more feed tomorrow Still just the one box, or the second one box. We have one on the pallet there. Let's give the cows some water. Did I see they had a bale still? Yes, they still have some silage. That's good. Slide right next to the fence here. Give them some water. It didn't take a lot. I think 
You might want to try and push that little grain trailer over to her next to the animal trailer. Alright, we will park this right here. And we're going to call that a night. We certainly are. Oh, get out of the trees there. So, we will see you in the morning. I'm going to go have some supper and a drink and go to bed. And I'll see you in the morning. Oh, yeah. This morning, um, oh. yep, it's uh, getting lighter earlier. Six o'clock. I'm almost bright enough. I could go to work. Right now, I have to go somewhere else. There it is. I gotta have some coffee first. It is only 46 degree ground temperature. I was hoping it'd be warm enough to plant soybeans, but yeah, it's only 46 and needs to be 50 degrees, I believe. So I'll have to wait till tomorrow. Well, I guess we better get our animal chores done so we can go sell that wood when they open up. Four trees. Did we? That fell off the trailer. Can I get it up there? There we go. It's a little long hanging out the end, but that's all right. All right. Uh, here it is over here. All right. I'm going to guess that the cows need more than this amount of water, but... have to add some more good morning gents we still have silage I see have an extra little drink yeah you didn't take it all but we will go ahead and fill the trailer back up. We'll cut through the grass here. There we go. full again. Oh, I didn't look to see if we had a another full box of eggs yet. Why am I driving back over here? They're full. There, let's just 
park it for now right here. Whoops. There we go. Nope, just the one. Okay, well... Six forty. We got a few minutes left. Let us put some more wheat in with the chickens. I do like that shadow on the ground of the windmill. You know, it's going to be 7 o'clock in the morning before we know it. I don't think we've got time to feed the chickens more wheat. But we'll get the trailer over there just to remind us that we have to do it. good. Yeah, I think so. Ooh, barely. Might have to back it up a little bit. All right, well, let's go sell. Looks like I'm going to lose another log off of that side. Get this to the lumber or the sawmill and see how much we get paid for it. We need to get our money up to 45000 so we can have a baler to. <gasps> look at there, our grass is coming in. Oh, and look at the weeds. Oh, yuck. Maybe I will weed uh, herbicide the grass field. Darn it. That's enough to take the wind right out of your sails. Happy that we saw grass growing. Sad that it's all full of weeds. Should have just sprayed it last night. Oh well. Well, it looks like we're going to time that just about perfect. They're going to open up right now. Hello, gentlemen. We have a load of logs for you. There we go. Well, it's all in but that one little stubble. How much today? 17,000. Thank you. Darn it. I was hoping for 20. So, four trees only gives us 17. Let's see, what's the math on that? Yeah, I'm going to say we need 10 trees. So, it's going to take two and a half more loads. We need to cut down six more trees. Oh boy. Well... No time like the present. There's our measuring stick.
And I think we're going to head over here to those trees. Looks like there might be quite a few tall ones in that group. Alright, well, I will fill up this trailer and then I will get back with you. I'll see you in a little bit. Well, I might have put one too many trees on this trailer. I think I put five on here. Well... Are we dragging? Tractor's not popping a wheelie. Ooh, am I gonna roll it? Yeah, it seems stable. I was hoping if I had five on here, that'd be nine, and it might be enough. I wouldn't have to come back. I did chop down, I believe, ten trees. I don't know where I'm going. Uh, the road is this way. Yeah, we're... We might be dragging the tongue on the dirt. We're only going 11 miles an hour. they might be a little too far forward as well. I was in a hurry and I didn't plan it very well. Ah, here's the road. Well, let's take the forestry road the other direction. See where that takes us. Well, somehow we made it here. Yikes. Oh! I had the lift on the ground. That's why the tongue was dragging. Well, I'll bet the tractor would have popped a wheelie if I hadn't. Let's try it. Let's raise that up. That would have driven a lot better. Probably would have been a little light on the front end. Oh well, we made it. Hi gents, how much for the load now? Oh, $26,000! Ooh! We have enough! We have enough! Thank you! Oh, oh my goodness! Let's see here. I'm going to park this trailer right here for a second. Not what I wanted to do. There we go. All right. 
right, let's buy those two pieces. Hello! 44,760 dollars later we have our windrow back that we had already originally purchased and the new little baler. So let's get these back to the farm. Oh, and let's raise that up before we hit it. They did tell me a little something that is not what I wanted to hear. The weather forecast is rain tomorrow night. I don't know if we will have enough time for grass to dry to turn into hay. We'll have to try and see. Alright. We could pull the baler with this tractor, but this tractor doesn't have enough horsepower to run it. Alright, I'm going to shuttle these two pieces back to the farm. And when I get the wind roll back there, I'll get back with you. See you soon. Yeah, we're going to have to spray those weeds. Everything is back. Twelve o'clock. Uh, I'm just going to drop stuff haphazardly for now. I think I'm going to spray the grass field before we get started mowing. And I'm going to mow back here behind the timber, I think, over on that little mound. We'll try mowing that first. But if I don't get this sprayed, the weeds are going to get out of control, and I don't want that to happen. So I'll have to do that first. I will see you after I get done spraying these weeds. I'm not spraying nothing. It's empty. Oh my goodness. I didn't remember unloading it. Maybe it leaked out. Oh no. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Humble Beginnings. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It would really help. See you soon. Bye for now.